The Holy Tales. Hello, friends. We are back. Aren't you excited to meet Holy? We are. She is going to tell us another new story from the Bible. Welcome, kids. I have already decided which story to tell you today. So, are you all ready? So, today's story is about Stephen getting stoned. But who's Stephen? Let's read the story and find out. Stephen was one of the strongest believers of the young church, and the Holy Spirit filled him with God's power, love, and grace, and helped him to do some amazing miracles. But one day, some men got into a debate with him. None of them could match up to Stephen's wisdom, because his came from the Holy Spirit. This made the men very angry. So they gathered few other men and convinced them to tell lies about Stephen, so that he could be arrested. They lied and said that they had heard him say bad things about Moses and even God. The religious leaders were very upset when they heard this. They got Stephen arrested and brought before the high council for trial. The same men who had earlier lied about Stephen told more lies. They said, "We've heard him say that Jesus is going to destroy the temple and change all the customs that Moses taught us." Suddenly, everyone in the high council turned and stared, watching Stephen's face glow as bright as the sun. The high priest then asked Stephen if the charges against him were true. Stephen replied, "My brothers, remember that God appeared to our father Abraham." And told him to leave his home and move to a land which he had made for him. Abraham obeyed God, and he promised to give him the land and many ancestors. God gave him the son Isaac, and Isaac's son Jacob became the father of twelve tribes of Israel. Do you remember how eleven of these sons were jealous of their brother Joseph? And they sold him to slavery, but God allowed Joseph to save the nation of Egypt and even his own family from a famine. You must also remember that our people became slaves in Egypt, and that Moses was born. God sent him to lead the people to freedom. He gave Moses the laws and commandments by which we live. It was Moses who told the people. That God would raise a prophet. The people turned against Moses and had Aaron make them a golden calf for them to worship. Then God turned away from people. It was years later that Joshua led the people, and then there were the years of King David, a man who found favor with God. David's son Solomon built God's temple, and now. You stubborn people, you know our people's history with God, and yet your ancestors persecuted the prophets. You killed Jesus, God's own son. The religious leaders were very angry by the things Stephen said. They shook their fists and shouted at him. But God gave Stephen a vision of the gates of heaven opening and Jesus standing before him. Stephen was not afraid of anything of what they said to him. The people dragged Stephen out of the city and threw stones at him until he was dead. As he was dying, he prayed for the people who hurt him and killed him. He looked up and said, "Lord, don't charge them with this sin." And he died. It was a nice story. Now 
it's time for the question. Who was Stephen? I know. He was a strong believer of the young church, and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. That's correct. Hope you like the story too. We'll be back soon. Keep watching. Bye bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There. God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the Lord.